Cheech is gonna teach us how to put rubber on the horn. Also on the horn of this saddle. Stump. We're gonna put some rubber on the stump. First, and then start? I guess. You're the teacher. Typically, from a year of, a year or two, or sometimes you get to a point to where you've roped a lot of stuff, and you just gotta restart. You know, it's just one of those deals. Now, see, this right here, that little baby right there is for just in case you need to cut it off and really get after with the program but after you've roped a lot of stuff and it kind of gets to be in use a little bit I typically have inner tubes but I have uh, actually I like to take things from other people's trailers so I have taken these thank you Trevor Brazil um, <coughs> name drop <clears throat> yeah well he owes me for lunch anyway so when you're coming to wrap this thing um, sometimes I like to do it on my horse. You can do it on your horse. You can do it on one of these, but this is a really controlled environment, so you can do it really, really good. I come right here, come to the back, get it tight, come back around, get you another wrap. Now this is this is where you're really gonna have to dig, dig deep, dig deep, dig deep. Fourth deep. quarter. Fourth quarter. Fourth wrap. You got it. Do it. Do it. It's really that. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Man. There you go. So, now these ones are gonna get a little bit harder. So I'm gonna come back to the top. I'm gonna come back around, up and over, cross them, and I'm gonna leave this one a little bit loose because I want my rope to stop. Some people like it I'll just go ahead and see if you're not going to be able to get another one. But some people like it really, 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 really tight. And so you can do it, but we're not going to get another one out of that one. So we're going to leave that one loose at the bottom because that's where a lot of the action from the crowns of the rope go. Now I grab one more of these. Sometimes... You want to make sure that when you put these on, you put them on as even as you can. That way you have an even place to dally. So when things are coming apart. I you said it's going to take a minute and a half. It is. It's taking longer than that. And right there, um, you, have yourself a, uh, you have yourself a horn wrap. So now we're going to go over the top. We're gonna get two on this one right here. And go all the way down the bottom. And there you go. Your saddle is ready for action. You're ready for combat. You just wanna make sure that uh, a couple of them are loose and the other ones are really tight. And uh, when you go to dally, you are going to be able to stop your rope and slide it a little bit. The crowns of your rope should look like, they're gonna look kinda like this. There's gonna be some rubber burns in this right here. That's because the action of the rope, when it comes around to get dallied and you pull, it's not gonna go anywhere. You're gonna be able to stop, but you're still gonna be able to slide a little rope. So, that's how I do it. Other people might do it different, but that's me, that's how I do it. And so, don't tell nobody this secret. That's for y'all. Dale, you need to do this to all your saddles. No, because I tie off. Yeah. Well, I have the option to do that too. Yeah, no, I actually do put a little rubber underneath mine. Hmm. Good. Um, that's a real quick tip. Uh, that's how I do it. Um, other people 
might do it a tad different, but that's me.